everyone welcome to my channel lilies and blush my name is suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for another melting basket video i think i'm gonna stop calling these weekly ones because i'm not really doing them every single week now um because i'm definitely piling on more wax but i am melting almost more often so they're almost weekly but not exactly weekly um especially because i have a lot of videos to post right now um a lot of backup and stuff so anyways long story short i probably will stop calling these weekly but um this is my empties for the previous melting basket video so if you're more curious about how these smelled on cold then definitely check out that video and then i will go over my weekly my weekly my melting basket coming up that i'm moving on to um and then i do have my notes and we'll quickly go through these empties and my thoughts and feelings on them so first we have staycation smells like hawaii uh it's basically hawaiian sunset um from lunar landings and i really loved this um i mostly melted it in the living room i believe maybe i melted it once in the bedroom but i think mostly i melted it in the living room and it was really really good sweet nice good tones um definitely did actually enjoy it and then we have pikachu ice lemon cookies um and that's from black magic melts and that was melted in the bedroom a good lemony scent i enjoyed like always i really love um i don't know why i'm putting those like down on the floor i'm like <laughs> i'll put those there okay so then we have uh, i always love black magic melts that's what i was trying to say so then we have blue from fantasy wax s'more scent and i melted this again mostly in the bedroom but i also did melt it in the bathroom the last day and it was a really good scent i did actually really like it in the bed the bathroom um it was really strong there but it was decently strong in the bedroom too um l3 waxy wonders horcrux bum bum i i'm obsessed this is definitely going to be a repurchase for me so i'm actually going to set this aside to mark it as a repurchase it was just so good i melted it everywhere bedroom bathroom and i just absolutely love bum bum scents and it mixed with the horcrux it was so yummy then we have My Garden, My Solitude, and Sexy Surfer from Twin City. I melted these together in the bathroom, and they were pretty good together, actually. Like, they were pretty, um, pretty decent. Definitely marked down on the grassy, earthy scents that I don't really liked. I didn't really like in My Garden, My Solitude on cold. So, definitely helped there. Blossom in Six, I had a weird relationship with this Rose Girl scent. So, at times when I open it up, it smelled super earthy to me, and I was like, ugh. This is not going to be a good scent to melt and it would be like maybe the second or third time i melted it but every time after i melted it like when it went on warm i really got the salty sea air and that just and it was sweet and salty sea air like i don't know what happened or just like the grassy scents were just the more earthy tone was kind of just coming through in the bag i don't know but this was freaking good this would totally be another repurchase for me as well so i'll mark that down for rose girls then we have L3 Freya. I melted this in the bathroom. A good bathroom scent. Um, and we have melted confetti salted caramel popcorn. This was so strong in the bathroom. So good, but kind of gross in the bathroom. I really wish I hadn't melted it in the bathroom. Um, but I didn't know how, like, where else to melt it because it's such a small piece of wax um, as freebies are. So I would totally get this again. Just never melt it in the bathroom again. It just made the bathroom feel weird. I don't know. I totally was getting Andrea's like butter sticky gross vibes that she feels when she melts buttery scents. I was only in the bathroom. Otherwise, if I melted it somewhere else in the house, I would have adored it. Like it would have been perfect. Um, Fantasy Wax Red Hot Apple Pie. So good. Definitely a strong apple pie scent. Totally 100% came through on the hot apple pie. Melted this in the bedroom. Um, and then we have melted confetti sweet almond pretzel and dolce de leche. I melted these together and they were amazing together. The pretzel with the dolce de leche just came, it was just amazing. And the almond, uh, just awesome. We have Ava's Country Cupboard, bum bum. Super good. I actually might try Ava's Country Cupboard for myself. This was just in, um, the D stash that I got. So I haven't actually ordered from her before, but this is really good bum bum scent. I do like bum bum though a lot and it doesn't seem like people go wrong with it. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll check out some, um, melting baskets that feature Ava's and see what I think and maybe dive into a small order or something. Uh, Fantasy Wax Plankton. Um, this one was good as always 
as always, I melted it in the bathroom too. I'm just trying to see if I had any specific notes about it. Nope, just said it was really good. A really strong watermelon, fruity smell my husband loved. Um, then we have that small good shop, cashmere cream, Egyptian musk, rock, Egyptian musk rockstar lush type. This was pretty good. Um, very yummy in the living room. Then we have mahogany teak wood from Fantasy Wax, Daisy type from Fantasy Wax, Sour Patch Kids from Fantasy Wax, all melted in the bathroom, all delicious and amazing, absolutely adored. Fantasy Wax, Kirsten's fave, melted in the bathroom, absolutely freaking loved, definitely would not mind getting some more of those. Um, Fantasy Wax, Tafiti, Volcano type, um... I think my husband, this was the one that my husband asked about because like, yeah, so super good. Like he really loved this one in the back, the bedroom. Um, and then we have Spill the Tea also melted in the bedroom. Yes. And absolutely obsessed. Five stars is what I said next to it. Like definitely need a hundred more of those. That will probably be the one that I tell, like right now, Villainous Wax is asking people on her Facebook, like what else they wanna see come back. And I will probably say that one because I'm obsessed. Uh, Ratatouille, uh, Remy's, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, Remy's Adventure. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but Nerdy Box, Nerdy Wax um, one. And I wanna say, when did I melt this? This was in the bedroom and it was pretty good. Um, just a, a nice, like, kind of sweet, fruity scent. Um, and then we have a vitamin C. Absolutely loved this one from Southbound Candle Co. So super good. Like, at first I thought it was just like, oh, it's going to be like fruity or whatever. But it was amazing in the living room. Just did so well, like performed so well. Um, don't get burnt L3 melted this in the bathroom it smelled like sunscreen <laughs> um, then we have uh, the piece de resistance fantasy wax zucchini bread and pistachio dream cake absolute five stars absolutely the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life no like I'm not well, I'm like kidding but not kidding I don't I don't know I'm just I need a thousand more I need a thousand more I need a thousand more like say it three times it'll come true right like, I just, I need, need, need more. Um, then we have Pharaoh 90 from Villainous Wax, Dragon's Blood, Incense, and Dark Musk. Pretty good, masculine musky scent in the bathroom. Then we have Yankee Doodle Dandy, Blue Hawaiian Lemonade, and Cherry Slushy. I, I really, really like this one. This was strong and good. Like, you know, South Bank Kennel Co. is definitely, you know, 10 out of 10 so far. Like, pretty freaking good scents. It was strong. It was good. I definitely wouldn't mind getting it again next summer. But it's definitely a summery scent. Uh, Rose Girl's Sun and Sand was super good. My husband actually really liked this one too. Um, I melted it in the bedroom and the living room and the bathroom. Just like everywhere. And it was amazing everywhere. Moana Salty Sierra from Fantasy Wax. Absolutely love Salty Sierra scents are just literally just chef's kiss always and fantasy wax did not let me down in that regard at all i have a piece of plastic diamond of the season amber white musk earl gray tea and delicate florals this one i melted i think in the living room and it was super good another one from bonus wax i wouldn't mind having come back salty rim sandy toes absolutely love this one from twin city in the bathroom super good stuff I'm going to set those ones aside and garbage back in this basket so I can toss it. And then now on to the basket. I'm like really hot. There's a fan going if you can hear it. I'm sorry, but it's like so hot. So I'm like rushing through this video. So sorry for the rushing, but I'm just really dying and need to like go just lay in front of the fan. Okay. Um, this one is from Sensationals. I think I got it from like Fred Meyer, Walmart or something like that. Beach Please, Sunsets and Luau's. It's just like leftover Walmart wax or, you know, grocery store wax. It's really nice beachy, um, scent, fruity kind of tropical-y scent from For Summer. This is all that's 
um, or almost all, not everything is from my summer collection or summer, like what I set aside for my summer seasonal box, but most all of this is what's left of summer. So I'm trying to like melt off the rest of summer. So next we have Rose Girls Oceanside Towels, Fluffy Towels in Ocean Air. Mm, love it, like a laundry, super good laundry, beachy smell. Then we have Morning Sex by the Ocean. Mm, fresh, clean, oceany scent. Absolutely love giving me those cold nose vibes. Mm, so good. So, so good. Okay, then we have Endless Summer, blend of raspberry lychee, sorbet, sunkissed magnolia, and vanilla sandalwood. I'm really trying to not melt this. I want to hold on to it forever because it's beautiful and it smells absolutely freaking amazing. Mm. This will probably be one of the last ones I, I melt for the summer. Um, I definitely will hoard. This one too, Stars and Stripes, Fresh Baked Strawberries, Cool Crisp Mint, and Smoothie, Smooth Cream Vanilla. Super beautiful. Mm, I just love that strawberry smell. It's so good. Okay, next we actually have a scoop, which I haven't tried a scoop in a really long time. And never in like this kind of container, so I'm very excited about it. I do have a little scoop spoon in here that I will use. Red Queen's Revenge, Ruby Red Rose Petals, Peach Puree, and Creamy Vanilla Drizzle. Super pretty. Definitely getting the rose, not really getting the peach or the creamy vanilla. So hopefully on warm, I get more of that. Then for the cups, we have Fantasy Wax Patrick Key Lime Pie. Mm -hmm. Definitely like smells like key lime. Fantasy Wax Gary Be Delicious. Mm. I don't know how to describe this one. Definitely smells like a, like, maybe kind of a cologne or, like, just a, a beachy scent. A summery scent for sure. Fantasy Wax Pearl, Mango, and Papaya. Mmm, that's amazing. I love mango. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, and then we have Fantasy Wax Mr. Crab, Strawberry Donut, da Daiquiri, Strawberry Daiquiri. Mmm, that strawberry scent is amazing. Okay. Then we have Mrs. Puff Citrus Almond Mixed Berries from the same SpongeBob collection. <laughs> if you didn't catch the theme there. <laughs> mm, the citrus with the almond is so, oh, so interesting, but so good. Uh, then we have Tomatoa from Moana Fantasy Wax Frozen Margarita. Super beautiful. Mm. Doesn't smell like alcohol -y margarita. It just smells fruity and delicious, but still like a margarita, just not alcohol -y. Pua Summer Boardwalk type from Fantasy Wax. Mm, it smells coconutty. Very nice. And then we have Fantasy Wax Sandy, Juicy Tangerine, Sweet Peach. Yeah, definitely smells citrusy fruity like that and then i think this is summer scoop waffle cone scoops ahoy fantasy wax from stranger things cute little ice cream guys Mhm. Mm yep smells like vanilla ice cream and just like something else baked goody there okay we'll take out the giant one so we have all three waxy wonders wood sage sea salt coconut coast and bum bum lots of my giant summery wo loaves loaves Oh, I just love this so much. Bum Bum is amazing with the coconut. Mm, this is just heaven in a bag. Like, summer heaven in a bag. The epitome of summer. If I can get this close. So we don't lose a scent. Okay. Then, okay, we'll start with the slightly bigger one. So then we have Frankincense and Myrrh Voldemort from Not the Good Smell Good Shop. This is not pulled from my summer collection. I just wanted a, that Smell Good Shop one in there. Mm, that was interesting. A very interesting smell I got there. The Frankincense, I think. Mm, smells almost like a shop, uh, like a, what are they called? Like an incense, it smells incense-y. Um, for sure. Um, windmill sugar cookie dough. I think this is from L3. 
or no no this is the freebie from rose girl sorry i was like comparing labels <laughs> oh that is so amazing i need to write that one down it's like one i really really like so i'm gonna like set that aside because that was so good i don't remember it being that good when i first got it uh jessica jones from l3 I remember my husband and I really liked this when we first got it. So I can't wait to melt it on warm and see if we still really like it. And then it's definitely one to look out for from for new releases. Then we have pretzel and maple buttercream freebie from Fantasy Wax. Oh, I just absolutely love their pretzel scents. And then we have Beach Nights Cotton Candy Waffle Cone from L3 freebie, our sampler. Oh, that smells so good. The Beach Nights with that like bit of sweet from the cotton candy. So good. Then we have pretzel and coffee. Mm, I seriously, the pretzel. Guava Splash from Twin City. Mm, I love guava. This smells so good. It really just smells like, like fruity, sweet deliciousness. Then we have L3 Cotton Candy Sweet Violets Palo Santo Malo Fireside. I love Palo Santo. That's a little like stabby from the, the wood in it. I'm not getting much from it. So it might just on warm, hopefully we'll get something. Uh, Tropical Twister from Twin City. Mm. Definitely smells tropically, almost like sunscreeny tropically smell. Uh, pineapple sage from Twin City. Mm, I'm not really getting much pineapple, just a lot of sage. Uh, La Laverne's pie stand from L3. Oh, it smells so good, like a mix of pies. Like it smells like a pie stand, like I'm getting apple. And then like almost like caramel -y kind of smell and the pie crusty smell. It gets so good. Okay. Then we have Troppy Pop from Twin City. <laughs> Definitely smells like a little like lollipop. Like a watermelon lollipop maybe or something. Uh, and then we have Fruity Loops from Nerdy Wax. They're adorable little like Fruit Loop shapes. Mm, it smells literally just like a box of Fruit Loops, like dried Fruit Loops. Whoa, sorry guys. <laughs> I like knock stuff off. There's so much wax. Okay, tropical bunt cake. Just two more left. Oh, that smells so good. It's like strawberry, pineapple-y, mango-y. I don't know, like definitely strawberry. But then I'm also getting something else sweet that's familiar. So maybe like a pineapple or mango. Maybe not pineapple, it's more mango maybe. And then the definitely cakey smell. Like that is amazing. Um, not like what I was really expecting. Then we have Atomic Fireball from Twin City. This is gonna be super cinnamon. Oh yeah, like super cinnamon. I may have to mix that with something for me to be able to stand it, but maybe I'll melt it like when I'm not home on a Monday or Tuesday. Oahu Chlorine is the last one from L3. Mm, I don't know about this one. That smells interesting. Maybe I'm just getting chlorine in that, but hopefully, again, it smells better on warm. Okay, so we've got, oh, let's put the big ones in there first. So this is it. I'm sorry for like the speed run. Hopefully you caught everything and it wasn't too fast. But like I said, I'm just like, I want to film. I want to be able to melt these. Um, but like, I just did not want to be here forever. Plus I'm going to get hungry too. Um, and I'm just like ready to just sit and do nothing. Because this is like the third one in a row I filmed. So I'm like ready guys, ready. And I want to just like melt something awesome and just chill. <laughs> But first I need to take pictures. So there we go. Now I'm ready for pictures. <laughs> this hot mess basket. Hot mess video. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.